Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, Monday through Thursday, for my Libras. Hello, my Libras, how are you? Well, you know that I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using Archangel Power Tarot cards for my main message, and then I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember... This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Three cards are face down. Middle one is reversed. Stronger energy. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to my higher power. Whatever the message is for whoever needed to hear it, it comes through. Now, we have the full moon, August 3rd, 1158 Eastern Standard Time AM, if I'm remembering correctly. It is in Aquarius. Now, you remember the full moon is, you know, Aquarius is the mirror of Leo. So we've got that really um, full moon, infinite type of energy. Think of two mirrors. Um, but then also we have that thing going on with Mars and, you know, Mars that's in Aries. So a lot of oomph to it. And then on 8-8, eight, eight, don't know a lot to talk about, but we have something called Lion's Gate. 8-8-2020. Eight, eight, it's every August 8th. There is this, you know, it's always in Leo, and there is this certain alignment. So, but now we have 8 8 20, 20. So there's some numerology type of things going on there, too. So, full moon is the best time to release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need, and request. Okay, first card for Monday through Thursday for my Libras is the page of Michael. Michael is your energy. It's also Aquarius and Gemini thought processes. It could have things to do with words. Um, also, too, there's a lot of cutting away, cutting away. You know, I feel like it's trimming the fat, cutting the things you don't need, um, getting rid of a lot of stuff, getting rid of a lot of energy. There could be some major transition. There could be some major changes in jobs this week, but if it if there is a job change, it's because you are going into a better place okay it's because you have a some you have something else opening up for you okay so an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed review contracts or documents very thoroughly there could also be somebody that's um, starting their own business here too uh, I just feel like okay that new opportunity but and I feel like you're slicing away the things you don't need and you know and again with contracts anything like that get go and talk to a get get a second pair of eyes go talk to a lawyer or somebody like that but again it's like if you know like you want to leave you know I'm, I'm feeling that transition for you my libra's like you want to leave something so you can jump into something else because it's kind of exciting for you it's kind of exciting and did i tell you truth full perceptive analytical blunt next card this one is reversed here we are the four of Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is our fire energy, and we've got a lot of fire energy going on right now. Uh, this is Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. There's a sense of, there's a sense of, um, you know, there's a sense of yes with this, okay? So whatever, so you're thinking about this, you're hearing about this, the words are there, you know, this. there's this new excitement, it actually tweaks your interest. It, you know, it kind of makes you go, hmm, I want to do this. I want to do this. So there's, there's this, and this is going to be a good week for you to actually entertain and possibly start or possibly do this. Okay. I know energies are all weird in different ways, but, um, you know, that, you know, this is, this is kind of a clearing away and seeing things going for something. And it's been a while since you've actually wanted to, where you've actually felt like you wanted to expend your energy to do it, okay? Part of it's, you know, for my Libra, some of it's like, okay, whatever, whatever. But this is kind of like, uh-uh. You know, this is that thing where it gets my Libras into their fighting mode, and we don't see that too often. But it's kind of this exciting, it's kind of like, it, wow, I want this, I want this, okay. Time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Now, again, you know, whatever that purging is, whatever that 
that slicing the fat off, you know, getting rid of the things you don't need. Um, it, it's like you're you're ready to make some you're make you're ready to move. Okay, last card face down, the page of Ariel. So again, you have this this page energy, this this opportunity energy, this exciting energy. But this also, besides it being in your head, this is also in the pocketbook. Okay, now this is you know this is our Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, solid something, someone you can touch. It's also, um, you know, money, money, opportunity, career, passion type of thing, too. So not only is this something that's going to engage your interest, something that you're going to really feel passionate about, it also feels like you're going to actually be able to make some money off of it. It will be able to support you. I don't know if this, if this is a second job, it's going to give you that extra money for whatever that project is you're working for. If this is a main job... Um, it's that you're, 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 you have the potential, actually, I feel like, not, not this week, but I feel like the page is saying you've got the potential to have more, okay? Okay. Reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships are the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So, yeah, I think that this is, it's almost like, you know, those times that we always hear, wow, wouldn't it have been nice to have gotten in on the ground floor? It's like, this is like a beginning type of energy for you. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. but Because it's it feels so like, yes, I want this. And this is something that I feel like you, you would really, it, you know, you'll really like expend your energy to go and get. Okay. Here we are. Last card. Face down. Reversed. Here we are. The five of earth. Now, we have, so we talk about the earth energy with Ariel. Fives are about some changes. So if this is a changing of a job, changing of a career, yeah, you know, that's change. Change can be positive. It can be negative. It can be neutral. It's also, it's not always easy. There's always, there's a little bit of a struggle with this. So even though, you know, the thing that happens with this and my Libras, you do like things nice and balanced. You know, you you are this you have your scales. So even though this is what you want, there's a little bit of worry about, hmm, can I afford to do this? That I'm gonna leave to you. Okay? That I'm gonna leave to you. The only thing I can tell you about this is my Libras, you do know how to money manage. So the thing is, this has engaged your head. This has engaged your passion. You know, the page of Ariel is kind of saying that, yes, you will be able to afford this. This one's, though, kind of like, oh, let's be a little cautious now, Libra. Let's, let's step back a little bit. Let's really look at this, okay? But fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So there, there's, a, there, there's this really, you know... You're really interested in whatever this is. You really want it. But, but, you'll do the right thing. You'll do the right thing. Okay? Okay. So, my Libras, if you enjoy my readings, remember those buttons. I understand they help with algorithms. So, please like, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things. And it helps to promote and support my channel. And, as always, more importantly, my Libras, Know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.